Hey guys, Anthony Cachavona here back with another video. And in today's video, I want to talk about a strategy that I like to use on Tesla stock. This strategy is great if you're bullish on a stock long term and if you have at least a six figure stock portfolio. I had 90K US in one of my accounts. I sold puts expiring January 2024, collected that cash up front and used the combination of the 90K cash with the cash from selling the puts that are super long dated to buy call options on Tesla stock expiring within about six months. I'll show you the potential profit targets on these trades. Before we do that, if you're looking to build your wealth in the stock market, you're gonna to wanna to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it. And now let's dive into it. Friday, October 22nd on Market Open, I sold the 1000 strike for Tesla puts expiring January, 2024. That's just over two years. And I sold two of those puts collecting 60.4K US upfront in cash. As you can see here, I had two Tesla puts expiring January, 2022 at the 700 strike that I set at the beginning of the year. And I collected 33,000 of the 37,000 total in premium. There was only 3,400 left in premium. So what I did was I closed out the position before we got to the expiration come January. And then I used that same buying power to sell two more puts at the 1000 strike expiring two years later. I basically pushed this out two years and went much higher in the strike because I believe Tesla will be above 1000 per share in two years. And because of that, I'm collecting $60,300 up front. Now, the combo here is I use that money combined with the 90K cash that I had in my account to purchase call options expiring February 2022 at the 875 strike, which was a little bit in the money at the time of market open. So you can see here, I bought 10 contracts on this account and I bought three more contracts on one of my other accounts for a total of 13 contracts of the February 18th, 2022 expiration 875 strike. Cost basis was $96 because I bought it when Tesla was 895 this morning. I'm over $10,000 in profit for all 13 contracts just for the first day. My whole thought process is I expect Tesla to run towards 1000 by the end of the year. It could happen in November, it could happen in December, or it could happen in January. My profit taking target is going to be 980 to 990 and I expect to see that in November, December, or January. Now, the reason why this is an advanced move is because I'm using my buying power to sell puts very far out, and I'm collecting the money upfront, and then I use that money to buy call options. This means that I'm extremely bullish in the medium to long term on the stock. Now, what's, it, it's typically really good to do this if you're heavy in a position and you really believe in it long term and it had a massive sell off. I personally use this same strategy when Tesla sold off to 600 a share. I sold puts one year out at the money at 600 or out of the money at 700. And then the full year went by and Tesla rose and all the premium got eaten up and I kept the money because it expires worthless. What I didn't do last time was I didn't use, I didn't sell the puts and then use that money to buy calls. If I did that, I would have made significantly more money. And we're gonna see that in this example here. If Tesla is trading anywhere from 800 to 1200 between now and February, we're gonna see what that looks like in terms of profit. My cost basis was $96 per contract, 13 contracts, total around 125K US. If Tesla hits 988 by December 1st, then those calls are 61K US in the profit. What's great about this is you combine this 61K profit with the premium that gets eaten up if the stock rises to 988 by December 1st. We can actually estimate how much premium may get eaten up from now to December 1st if Tesla goes to 988 by looking at options right now. The strike we chose for the puts was 1000. So if we go to the same expiration, January 19, 2024, what we can do is see the price of puts that are at the money. Because if we put ourselves in the future one month and the stock is at 988 and our strike is 1000, that's essentially at the money. So what we want to do is see the value of puts that are at the money today. What would that look like? It would actually be even less because it would be one month in the future. So it's one month closer to the expiration. So even more premium will be eaten up. So we scroll down to the puts and we go to the 920 strike. Tesla's trade at 909. That's $11 in the money. And if you compare that to the 1000 strike I chose, with Tesla being 988 in one month, that's $12 in the money. That's how we get that same gauge because they're the same amount in the money. That's how much the contract's gonna be worth. But again, even less because it's one month in the future, so theta decays it a little bit. We should honestly look at what the 900 would be worth. So we see that the 900 is worth 236 
and we sold ours for just over $300. So that means if Tesla stock is 988 December 1st, then those puts we sold for 300 per contract would now be worth 236 per contract. And if you do the math on that, that means that 6,500 for each contract will be eaten up in premium. Double that equals 13,000 US. The total profit on this trade I made yesterday, Friday, October 22nd, would be 13,000 from the move happening from 895 to 988 on selling the puts and 61,000 US from the call contracts because it was 50% returned. When you add 61K US profit plus 13,000 US profit, you get 74K US in profit from now to December 1st, if Tesla is trading at 988 per share based on this whole trade that I just made. Another scenario that's possible but unlikely is Tesla hitting 1100 to 1200 by January. If Tesla tops out just below 1100 in January, our calls would now be 162,000 US in the profit. And then at this point, we would be two months in advance and then the puts would be eaten up even more in premium because now if the stock is 1100, that means we would wanna look at the puts that are $100 in the money. And there's also two months in Theta Decay now. So we would look more at the 790 or the 780. The 780 is gonna be a 172. So again, that's half of, that's almost half of all the premium eaten up in two months, even though this expires over two years. If the stock moves in your favor, a lot of that premium gets eaten up and you can close it early. Let's calculate the profit on the second scenario, which is the more bullish, unlikely scenario, where Tesla hits 1100 in January. If this happens and I hold my call contracts, well then we would be collecting over 26,000 from the puts and over 178,000 on the calls, totaling about a $210,000 profit in the span of two to three months. Now, with all that being said, let's take a look back at Tesla stock here on the chart. This is the daily chart using the Heiken Ashes. We see the stochastic is flatlined, exactly what we want above 70. When the stochastic is, is above 70 or 80 on the daily, and the RSI continues to climb, we see Tesla continue to push. The MACD just opened up recently, about a month ago, and is heading higher. So we're still taking off. Everything on the daily chart looks amazing for the momentum to continue for the next two to four weeks. Zooming out more on the weekly chart, it still looks like we're just getting started on the weekly chart. So it looks like we have four weeks of push. And four weeks of push could bring us honestly to 1100, 1200. My profit targets are going to be around 1000. None of this is financial advice, but as you can see, everything's turning to head up. It looks like we're just going to keep going to the moon at this point. Thanks so much for watching. If you appreciated it, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're looking to build your wealth to achieve financial freedom in the stock market. And I'll see you in the next video.